So today we're going to do an unboxing of the Ben Hogan Equalizer wedges. Hey, I'm Jamie with Golfer Geeks and let's get started. So I've been looking to get these clubs for quite a while. Um, ben Hogan only makes clubs uh, on demand. So when you order, they make, there's nothing sitting on a shelf anywhere. Um, so they're kind of a smaller operation these days and that's just how they do business. But anyway, so I'm going to grab both of them. Why not? <clears throat> so what I've got here for you and for me at some point is the 58 and 52 degree wedges. So that's a, um, a lob and an approach wedge. And so let's take a little bit uh, closer look at the approach wedge real quick. Let's see how they have that oriented. Boom. Like that. I'll try and give you a little better picture of the back here. Or well, maybe even just flip it around. And do this. Okay, so you get kind of an idea. It's a um, very good looking golf club. Pretty much like all Ben Hogan clubs are these days. Uh, so aesthetically, they're really just, it's something they focus on and it's pretty obvious. See so like that, and go look at the business in there. Let me stabilize that just a little bit for you. Okay, so and so the shaft in this is the KVS Tour 90 uh, regular shaft. Um, I play extra stiff in everything, so this will be um, interesting to see how these hit. Um, normally, when I'm just kind of waggling a regular. Uh, flex sh shaft. You can kind of feel some give in it. I don't feel that here, so I don't know how it'll play once you get to swinging, but you know, we'll see. Uh, it's the same grip um, they send out with all their uh, demo clubs here. Uh, looks like a either Lankin or Golf Pride. A little bit oversized, a little bit above standard. I like standard because I have smaller hands. Um, just real quickly, just sensing the weight of it and how it's balanced. Um, feels good, looks good. I'm gonna stand up and just take a look at it sitting down. Um, looks and feels nice. Um, sets up really well. Um, it's a forged club, like all Hogan clubs, they're all forged. Uh, so, yep. Can't wait to get this thing on the course and um, really put it through its paces. Let's take a little look at the uh, lob wedge. All right, so this is 58 degrees. Let me get it this way for you. Okay, I'm trying to give you a little bit closer look here. Sorry, I have to maneuver this just a bit. So there you go. And I'll just flip it up this way. And kind of give you that look at it. And I'll flip it around this way. Uh, again, very, very handsome club. Um, same shaft uh, as the um, gap wedge, same um, grip also. I'm just going to stand up and just kind of take a stance with it. Um, looks good. I play, and I played forged, forged wedges for a very long time. Um, in the, anything from uh, Cleveland to Callaway. So, you know, the head size for, smaller head size for wedges doesn't really bother me. Um, okay. So these look great to me. They feel great just holding them. I mean, they feel really balanced. Uh, nothing's wacky at all here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put in quite a few sessions um, on the range. I'm going to test them around the greens. I'm going to take them on the course quite a bit also. So uh, thanks for watching the video and look back here within the next couple weeks or so and I'll have um, the final review, video review of the wedges. I'll also have a review on my website, Golfer Geeks. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, check back often um, as soon as you like something 
you'll get notified of all the videos I release and all the new clubs and golf gadgets I'm testing. So anyway, uh, guys, have a great day and thanks for watching this video.